Thank you for tuning in to this special edition of the Vulcan Report. This report is for trading on Thursday, August the 18th, 2016. You're looking at a chart of ticker symbol HACK. For those of you who uh, signed up for your subscription to the weekly pulse waves, you will notice that this uh, was on your sheet for this week. I also did a video last week concerning uh, this particular ticker and it's under the Illuminati economy section of the pulse wave sheet starting with the prefix IE and then as you scroll down you will see it and you can see that the weekly pulse wave was waiting for you at the 2613 uh, level and there was an intraday price trigger at 2604 Today, this particular stock hit 26.59 and closed out on the high of the day. Now, from a trading perspective, we are we were in the Kumo cloud. This is a breakout of the Kumo cloud to the upside, and it did so on relatively good volume. You're in an overbought uh, position, but the market is also in a position where it can lock in this current trend making 26 the new support as it heads up to 28 so this is looking like a really nice uh, trade and development right now uh, as you also know from the prior video does this mean that we could be getting closer to a major cyber terrorism attack it's been all over the plastered all over the news uh, and even this this past week all these different hacks and all uh, compromising of, of things and it's just really starting to get out of hand so we need to keep our eyes and ears open and hopefully you know nothing will come of this except for profits in this particular trade and not something more nefarious that we all would be affected by only time will tell all right, looking at a, uh, another trade that triggered uh, here at uh, in the miners, uh, ticker symbol GSS. Uh, those of you who subscribe to uh, the to the blog, that means you are going to be alerted when a new entry is placed on the blog. I don't always have time to do a YouTube video about uh, positions so you're going to want to um, follow along there you can also follow on Twitter every blo uh, every blog post will also be uh, tweeted as well and of course the best way to stay in touch when things are happening is to be a member of the Black Ops trading room and you're going to want to go ahead and subscribe to that and Getting back to the chart uh, here at this gold miner, Gold Star Resources um, trade uh, was the system triggered along from the weekly post wave sheet, 77 cents, or you can round it off and say 77 and a half cents, and that's pretty much where we closed today at 77 and a half after hitting a high of 77. Very interesting uh, development to say the least. So this one is looking rather good here. Um, what more can you say the pulse the power of the pulse waves are starting to reveal themselves to you, those of you who are new uh, to following uh, the black ops trading now you can see uh, how we do things here all right taking a look now at one of our silver miners uh, that triggered this week ticker symbol NAK uh, if you refer to your sheet you will see at 89 cents um, that was your pulse wave price trigger for this week. It went up to a high of a dollar and sixteen and settled today at ninety-four dollars. I'm sorry, I say ninety-four dollars. Ninety-four cents. Hey, maybe I'm speaking things that are not as though they will be, right? Uh, that would be great if this went to ninety-four dollars. So yes, the system uh, triggered the NAK. So those of you who are wondering, hey, you know, from the last uh from the radio show on the SGT report, he was like, hey, he's talking about miners, but he's not in it yet? I mean, what is that about? Well, and some even said that I was, you know, pumping and dumping, whatever. Well, I wasn't pumping anything because I didn't have a position. But full disclosure, uh, I am now in a position. The system triggered 
the long. It's very important for you to wait for your entry points and that's this is how you trade sometimes you can be a little too early get stopped out but you'd rather be a little early than too late and as you can see this thing is starting to break out and it's doing it on major volume here and you're looking at a weekly chart so this is looking really just super also your risk to reward when when these kind of stocks are trading like this you know these these ridiculously low levels it's a good idea you know you got to take a look at it now you heard me say I hate penny stocks what I mean by that is I hate penny stocks that are traded over the counter I do not like over the counter markets with very few exceptions I will and have traded them those pink sheets but on very few exceptions alright by and large I don't like anything that's over the counter and traded uh, you know pink sheets that are trading in the pennies just flat out but on a case-by-case -case basis, it it's not a bad idea based on, A, if it's a real company or not, and they really have a real balance sheet, and you have good liquidity. Like on this one, uh, you got 27, over 27 million shares going off this week alone. So, obviously, this one, you have liquidity. That's one of the problems with the OTCs, is that they normally don't have any liquidity whatsoever, and you're just getting your your face ripped off even if the market moves in your favor you can't even get out and take profit so this one here is very liquid and that's good so we can deal with it and moving on all right trade of the week so far if you have access to the pulse wave sheet you will see that today the Department of Justice put out a memo saying that they are no longer going to be using privatized prisons. What happened? Well, the system got triggered short in CXW right from the sheet at $27.30 a share. And today this market hit a low of $13.04, closing out the day at $17.57 quite the trade indeed if you subscribe to the sheet you would have saw that and you could have made a very very substantial profit that's the power of the pulse waves last but not least the next trade of the week is in ticker symbol GEO also affected by the Department of Justice's report well guess what the system got triggered short at $32.18. This market went to $16.26 and finished off at $19.51. What do you have to say about that? The power of the pulse waves at your fingertips. If you do not subscribe to the pulse waves, what are you doing? you want to get your hands on this right now uh, you, you can get your hands on it for a limited uh, 15 day trial it's awesome and you will be able to hedge your gold and silver portfolio like never before also have opportunity to uh, make profits in what's happening with the, what the feds doing with the bond markets with the equity markets you name it uh, you just have ample opportunity there. You can, uh, I will even go as far as making uh, model portfolios for you. So if you do hold some shares of stocks, uh, you can actually get a, a pulse wave sheet specific tailored to your holdings. You can have that. Uh, I also provide coaching and also provide uh, education. I do have a trading course for new people to take. We have a bunch of things for you. You want to sign up while everything is going off the way it is because I have to tell you, come the fall time, prices are going to have to go up because as you and I both know, things happen in September and in October. So the time to subscribe is now so you can lock in your prices. All right, remember, bulls make money, bears make money, and pigs get slaughtered. So remember to take what you can and take nothing back. Take what you can give nothing back ever. Peace.